solve, when we're solving an inequality, this is not, it's a little different than what you've done before. And a way to solve these is to break it up into different parts, into a numerator and a denominator. If you set the numerator equal, greater than or equal to zero, is this true? Yeah, but there's nothing that's going to help me at all. Try the denominator now. Try x plus 2. Set that equal to 0. And if you set it equal to 0, is uh, x is equal to negative 2. Notice now I have a number line with this negative 2 breaking it up. And now I have two zones to test. The nice thing about this is all I need to do, that since the 1 didn't give me a 0, the denominator did give me a 0. All I have is 1, 0 to check the uh, divisions. So what's a, what's a nice number less than negative 2? x equal to what? Negative 3. Very good. The last hour, somebody said negative 10. That, we worked with it. So this is going to be 1 over negative 3 plus 2. Is that greater than or equal to 0? What do you think? No. So that's false. So now let's try the neighbor here. What's a nice value greater than negative 2? Oh, I like that. 1 over 0 plus 2, is that greater than or equal to 0? Yep. So that's true. So my answer for this one is simply going to be x greater than or equal to negative 2. Or is it equal to negative 2? Why isn't it equal to negative 2? Oh, that little denominator trick can't be equal to negative 2. So it looks like that. All right. Let's take a look at number 8, and then I'll turn you loose on these. Obviously, you're going to want to do the same thing. X has to be uh, greater than. Well, let's just, do it. let's just do it this way. X plus 2 equals 0. We're going to find the divisions. In the top, could this ever be 0? Could the top ever be equal to 0? Yes. Yeah, it could. So think of this cross-multiplying, X plus 2 times 0, you also are going to need to check x minus 3 equal to 0. So you're going to get two things here, x equal negative 2 and x equal to 3. So you're making your little division line. You set the numerator equal to 0 and the denominator equal to 0. Do both of those. And then you'll get your divisions, uh, negative 2 and 3. Now I have 3 to check here here and here. So if we test this, we can try that x equal to negative 3. We could test x equal to 0 and test x equal to maybe 4. So 4 minus 3 is 1 over 6. Is 1 over 6 less than or equal to 0? Nah. How about put a zero? Is zero minus three, negative three over zero plus two, is that less than or equal to zero? I think so. And then this one, negative six over negative one, that is not. So this is no, yes, no. And so your answer is going to be in the form of a, um, oh, what do you call it, set notation, you're going to have x between 3 and negative 2. And can it equal negative 2? Nope. Can it equal 3? Yeah. So there's your answer. You try number 9. So don't forget, you still have 1 and 2 to do, number 9, and then zip down to day 2. It's down a ways, not too far. Circle 15, 16, 17, and 18. Those are due for tomorrow. That's it for tomorrow.